Creepers, Mike Martin's channel, Mike Martin's here. I just want to thank everyone for joining me on another edition of Housing Crisis. And I got my eye set on New Zealand very closely because New Zealand's one of the most interesting English-speaking countries that I have been following. That is our Commonwealth country, whatever you want to call it, that is facing this problem in a unique way. Uh, unlike any other way and they're dealing with it in a very unique way unlike any other country is so let's take a look at this new zealand's biggest mortgages are on auckland's north shore as homeowners face a lifetime of debt you know what a lifetime is people do you grasp what a lifetime oh yeah i know what a lifetime is <laughs> no a lifetime is a lot of sweat tears blood a lot of uh, 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 hard times, good times, bad times. We're here for a good time, not a long time. So let's have a good time. The sun could shine every day. But what I'm trying to say with this article is that it's an interesting article and I want to share it with you guys. Some North Shore homeowners are struggling to pay off their mortgages. Restore, uh, restoring to interest only payments according to budget advisor Brian Piff, I can even read that. So basically, they're, I guess, going to renegotiate the terms on their mortgage and just doing interest only. And the second interest starts ticking upwards, it's not going to look good. Owning your home may be the Kiwi dream, but some North Shore homeowners are drowning in debt without a hope of being mortgage free. I don't even think that term exists anymore, free and clear. New data from credit card credit information website creditsimple.co.nz showed North Shore homeowners under 55 had an average debt load of 542 large. Okay. Under 55. So that's that's basically that's the whole country. <laughs> Okay, maybe 85% of the 80% of the country average at $542,000, the highest debt in the country. The information also showed that sh uh, show homeowners over 55 still owed the average 381 large. This was the second highest debt in the country, just behind Central Auckland's older homeowners on average mortgage as 393,200. Brian the manager of North Shore Budget Services was not surprised by the figures. It's a phenomenon that's going to rear its head basically because mortgages were 500 large. And now they're looking at 1 million, he said. For something like that. that that's a bunch of condos there or whatever you want to call them. Or duplexes, whatever those things are. Low-rise condos. I don't even know what those things are. But anyways, people imagine... Going into a, a retirement, going into your retirement, and you're retiring, and you still have a mortgage to pay. How do you retire? That's why these people are not... Uh, I got into the whole baby boomers discussion in the last video when I was discussing this problem. That's why it's becoming a huge problem with people retiring and going into retirement with a mortgage. See, not my parents. My parents made sure they paid that house off in three years the second they bought it. And that was in the... Well, it was when... When minimum wage was 75 cents an hour and interest rates were, I don't know, I think 14%. But they still managed, managed to pay off their house in, in, in two to three years. Buying power is gone. Watch my buying power video I made so you guys can understand what I'm talking about. The, op the options that you had before are limited. It's a sign of the times. According to the QV's latest residential house values, the average house on the shore was valued at one point. 195 million, up 8.5% from the last year. Bethy Bridge said North Shore homeowners were likely to pay off their mortgages by the time they retired. Are you serious? But what, what are they going to have for a retirement fund if they, if, if they could pay off that much money by the time they retire with interest rates, property taxes, cost of living, price of food keeps going up, homeowners insurance? Yikes. Many people's retirement plans involving selling the house and moving to a cheaper area or retirement village, he said. But Beth Bridge warned there was no guarantee house prices would keep going up. That's the problem here, people. Another risk 
was that interest rates could go up and homeowners will not be able to service their mortgage. Repayments, he said. Banks are already warning people to be prepared to pay 7% interest. And Pethy Bridge remembered a time when interest rates went up and up. If in the early 80s, if you guys remember what happened in New Zealand. Some people were already paying interest only on their mortgages, meaning that the debt was not going down, he said. And Pethbridge urged that people to make educated judgments before getting into big mortgages. At the end of the day, if you can't service your debt, you'll drown in it. The, the, the credit simple data shows over 55s were particularly struggling with debt pressure and facing bankruptcy. Nationally, over 55s represent 27.8% of the bankruptcies, up from 20.6% in 2010. Credit Simple, uh, Credit Simple spokeswoman Hazel Phillips said Kiwis are hanging on to debt for longer and as a result paying more. That's, what you usually, that's usually interest over their lifetimes. Interest rates you pay on all debt, not just mortgages, play significant a role, a role in how long it takes to pay off your debt, she said. So guys, remember the layaway? I don't know. If, I don't even know if people in their fifties even know what layaway is because no one's doing it anymore. Save up and buy it when you can. Well, Mike, it's a house. Okay, well, save up and put down a lump sum. I, I don't get it. It's it's it's. And if you can't, then figure something out. You know what I mean? You know, maybe rent with other people until you could pay dirt cheap rent and actually put down a substantial amount of money. So you don't have to borrow so much and then pay high interest rates or raising interest rates or un how do you uncertain interest rates. And that's what I wanted to talk about. So New Zealand has been in, in a struggle. It, it, it has no, you know, the, 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 the banks, the, the, the banks are trying to say that it's not their fault. Uh, I, I think, uh, uh, what's the bank up there in, in New Zealand was saying, oh, it's not our fault. The stimulus packages, you know, it was, it's. It, the bubble wasn't created from us. How do you think the bubble was created? Fast money, easy money, big parties. Use the equity in your house. What do you think is going to happen? Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. I'd like to know. And if you're down under or in New Zealand area, if you're a Kiwi, let us know how this is affecting you. I've got quite a few people watching me in New Zealand, and I really appreciate the support. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.